Today, we're gonna teach you the sombrero flick, which is an awesome football skill that's gonna impress a lot of people. Now myself, I'm still working on perfecting this skill, so instead I brought my buddy Nate, who's got it on lock, to show you guys how it's done. Now the first thing you want to look at is your positioning. Here you take your strong foot, in my case my right foot, and you place it just under the ball, close to the edge, but without touching it. You want to leave your weak foot, in this case my left foot, a little bit further behind, and then you simply place your strong foot as much under the ball as possible without touching it. The next step is called the lift, which is actually a lot more simple than you might think. Here you bend your knee and you simply just lift your leg up without moving either the foot joint or the knee itself. So don't scoop the ball up, but simply just lift it by taking up the foot. And while you do that, at the same time, you make a small jump with your weak foot. Then you want to do the flick to get that amazing overhead rainbow effect. And what you do here is also pretty simple. You basically stretch out your leg and then point your toes up in a swift motion. You don't have to do a flicking motion with your ankle joint, but simply stretching out your leg in a swift motion will do the trick and get the ball over your head. And also just make sure to lean back while you do it so the ball doesn't go up in the air, but over your head. The final step is the catch and turn. And I know, how, how hard can that be? But the trick here is actually that once you've done the flick and lean back, you turn 180 degrees, but you always keep your eyes on the trajectory of the ball, simply to know where it's gonna land and make everything a lot easier for yourself. And then there's just the catch. You can basically take it on your thigh or on your foot or however you want to do it. And congrats, you've now nailed the sombrero. When summer sets in, when summer sets in, oh, when summer sets in, when summer sets in, we're gonna. But before you just waltz off and start doing the sombrero straight away, try to keep some of the most common mistakes in mind so you can avoid them and success from the get-go. The first thing is about the lift, because if you either forget to get enough height on the lift or simply jumping with your weak foot, setting up yourself for the flick might be a lot more difficult. And when you do the flick, if you forget to point your toes up, the ball might have a harder time actually going over your head and instead will just go straight up, especially if you also forget to lean back. So don't be that guy, avoid the mistakes. So there you go, my friends, a step-by-step -step guide to how you can pull off the sombrero flick. But what should we do next? As always, you should let us know in the comment section right down below. Now, of course, also keep in mind that if you want to lace up in the Copa 19 Plus, which you can't lace up in because it's laceless, well, you can go and buy from unisports.com right over there. Of course, also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to go subscribe with the notifications on to see all our latest videos. And if you want to learn some more cool skills, click the playlist right down there. With that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.